girl today. I know. Amazing. Shay, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, the things that you have going on that you're giving to the world, especially yes. to our women. We have sisters. Yes. Sisters. Yes. But before we even really get into the business, tell everybody who you are and what you have going on. Well, my name is Shay Johnson. Um, some of you might know me from Love and Hip Hop Miami. I was also on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And one of the first shows I did was Flavor of Love. Hey. All of VH1. <laughs> Shay Shay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my focus right now is uh, my health and wellness business, thehealthyhand.com. And of course, bringing awareness towards fiber. The, T-H-E, not the, the, T-H-E, HealthyHand.com. Now, Shay, you know, a lot of times when we sit down, and when I say we, I kind of preference myself, but (laughs) they do what they can, but I do what I want. Mm -hmm. Um, But I want to really talk about Shay Johnson and really what this means to you. How did we get here? Well, um, right now we're at a fibroid awareness event. Um, I became a spokesperson for USA Fibroids. I'm a fibroid fighter. Um, the reason I became a spokesperson because I've had my own experience with fibroids. Some of you seen that I had this situation on Love and Hip Hop Miami, but they showed just a little. You know, it wasn't a lot. They showed a little, and I was grateful for that. But I felt like that my voice can extend long and reach a lot of people. I have the platform to do that. So that's when I started to network with different people to see who else was involved with fibroids. And that's how I met the lovely doctors. I became the face of USA yes. Fibroids. And now I'm a spokesperson and I speak at different engagements. Mm. And you know what? I'm not a doctor or anything like that. You it's, are in your own right. And we're going to get there in just a second. We're going to get there. You're gonna, we're going to get there because you are. Yeah. You are. And I think that one of the things I want Thank you to you. always remember people associate titles with something else. The title is in the knowledge. You have the practical experience because your body went through it. And that's important. Guys, one of the things I want you to understand is that we have to understand that a position is merely something that is given to us. But when you have the practical experience, baby girl, you are the spokesperson. And you that's where you're supposed to be. You remind me so much of my family. I was raised in church. Baptist. Hello, so, Baptist. so you a Baptist girl too, girl. Yes. I know all the church songs. Oh, wait know. a minute. Jason Dang. Nelson is my new my new favorite. Um he's a gospel singer. Ooh. Um he has a song that just came out and they played it at my baby cousin's funeral. She just died less than two weeks ago. And thank you. And it's been really hard. I never had a a tragic death happen in my family like that before. So we're all like all over the place. But I was still able to gather my thoughts and come here and speak to women and men too because men are highly uneducated. And minister. minister Mm -hmm. Because uh, men don't understand we need that support from you. Mm. We need to know that we're Sometimes listen, listen to I her. felt that I was looked at a certain way in a negative light. I felt like they were looking at me as if what my situation was was nasty or icky or, you know, they didn't want to be around that. I convinced myself that I was nasty. I convinced myself that all of my symptoms wouldn't be accepted or tolerated in public. So I stepped back. Shame. And, and we, y'all... Since she said that she was raised in church, yeah, I know I was raised in church, but I will still turn up if I need to. <laughs> All I'm going to say is the woman with the issue of blood, but look at you. Man, now. you remind me of my auntie. Hello, somebody. Because those, the word, the way that you speak, the way that you present whatever you're trying to say, it comes across as a testimony. And it is. And, and, and the testimonies, when people don't know, the testimonies is what can carry you throughout mm. life. Your testimonies are your life experiences. So it's okay to share those testimonies hmm. because that testimony of yours can help one individual. But I know what you do and how you speak and the testimonies you got, you've helped a lot of different people. And it's your voice, your tone, and how you speak. You, The way you're talking to me right now, you're giving me confidence and you have no idea. Shay. Because you, you you remind me of my family. So I need that. My family's not around, so I'm going to take it all. And you know what? And, and we're in the same boat. I've been in Atlanta for three months. My mother's 82. She's back home in Virginia. I am here by myself, but guess what? I'm not alone. I know that's right. She continues right. to put me in spaces mm-hmm. with the people mm-hmm. who are like-minded and like-spirited. Yes. Guys, one of the things I want you to understand, and Shay and I are going to continue the dialogue simply because... 
this is not the only event. Shay, tell us a little bit about what's next, though. Well, what happened was when I um, started my fibroid journey on Love and Hip Hop Miami, I decided to continue that journey off the show, and I started to speak at different um, conferences, women empowerment events, things like that. But I started my own nonprofit, and we actually threw our first fibroid event um, about a year and a half, about almost two years ago, and it was amazing. We had so many different doctors, different people came out, and they spoke on their situation, their experiences, the information they knew on fibroids, where you can go to get help. Um, one thing we did not speak on was UFE, a uter uterine fibroid embolization. UFE was not an option for me. That's a procedure that you can take to remove your fibroids without surgery, and you most likely can leave that same day and go to work the next day. Why wasn't that presented to me? Why didn't the, the three doctors I went to to diagnose what my issues were with the symptoms I was having because I didn't know I had fibroids, why is it neither one told me UFE was a possible option? which is the option you should take so you don't have to have a myomectomy. That's removing your entire uterus so you can't somebody. have, I'm sorry, a, a hysterectomy. Removing your entire uterus so you can't have kids. Mm -hmm. Or a myomectomy where they remove the tumors from your uterus and place your uterus back in so you can have children. Those were my two options. There should not have ever been an option to ask me if I want a hysterectomy, if I want to take out my entire uterus. You're basically asking me, do you still want to have kids? That's not your decision to make or ask me. If I, if I don't want to have kids. I still want my body to be intact. I don't want you to rip a part of me. I don't want you to take a part of me. Take from you. Don't take from me. This is mine. This is what I was blessed with. This is my body. I will deal with the issues that you just said it. You, you just, you. Doctors, y'all got to get it together. Because I hate the fact that I have a permanent scar, a cut here. And they tell me now that I can't have a vaginal birth. If once I have my children, I have to have a cesarean, which is fine. I can still have children. Thank you, Lord. But why can't I go through that experience? You, you took that option away from me. You took that from me. So what I do is I speak up and I speak out so that option won't be taken from other women. Mm. Look into UFE, uterine fibroid embolization. It might be an option for you versus the surgery. Just look into that. If you have any other questions, go to my Instagram. I am Shay Johnson. You can also find me on uh, Twitter, Shay Johnson. You can send me an email, uh, bookshayjohnson at yahoo.com. I answer these questions daily because I know I didn't have anybody to go to. So if you have any questions on fibroids, I'm not a doctor, but I will tell you my experiences and what I know. I will help you. Again, go to my Instagram. I am Shay Johnson. She is Shay Johnson and <laughs> she is every woman. Oh. It's all in her. I swear we relate. Our husbands.